Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well today I wanted to have a talk with you about ignition temperatures and moisture within the friction fire sets that we use. And I want to take and soak this set down real well and explain to you why we can still get an ember out of this set. This is the divot we'll be using. All right. <clears throat> I've been wanting to actually have this talk with y'all for a long time. You know when you try a bow drill or hand drill and you see tons and tons of smoke coming up off of the fireboard and you can't imagine why it's not igniting. That's not smoke coming up off the fireboard. Many times that's moisture, that's steam. Something you need to know, when you see, when you're doing hand drill or bow drill, and you see smoke just streaming straight up the spindle, like here's the divot, and you're creating tons of smoke and it's streaming straight up the spindle, that's steam. If you see tons of smoke and you see it sort of waft, wafting down and staying close to the bottom where the fireboard is at, Many times, that's the smoke. And at that point, your ember is probably ignited. So be looking for that. I just sort of wanted to tell you, it doesn't matter how much smoke is coming up, which is actually steam, you're not gonna get ignition until you get up to about 800 degrees. As long as there's moisture in your materials, you're never gonna get higher than 212 degrees because when moisture, when water gets to 212 degrees, it turns to steam. So that's the whole reason why drying cycles work. You're using friction to get it hot enough, get it up to 212 degrees for that steam to escape. And finally, you're gonna dry it out enough to where it can go past 212 degrees and get to the ignition point of 800 degrees. So you see people soaking I can think of bow drill sets. I guess some people have soaked hand drill sets like this before, and then you see them take it out of the water and spin up an ember. It's simply because the water, the set started off dry. The water did not have a chance to penetrate all that far. And in the process of grinding away at it, it grinds past what little moisture there is back into the dry part of the set. And you're able to make, a, make an ember and it looks like magic, so. This has not soaked all that long. Let's go ahead and try this, see if we can get past what moisture has soaked into the surface and get into it and, and make an ember with it. You can imagine that soft pith and that hollow core right there that some of the water had, might have really penetrated deeply. So I've never done this before, but I, I think this is gonna work. But I've seen four or five different videos online where people have taken and soaked hand drill, well, bow drill sets. I guess some people have soaked hand drill too, but I remember the bow drill sets. All right, and the fireboard. Now, if this dis if this divot doesn't work because you see we don't we don't have a lot of bottom left in that divot. We'll go ahead and cut another divot like right here where that wood is saturated to, right in there. 
and that should produce if I can't get one out of that one. And I'm gonna scrape this outer bark off of here. You can really tell that this, this outer bark is wet. You can feel it. All right, pour sweet on tulip poplar. Trying to see if the soaking is going to keep us from getting a hand drill ember. All right, I'm just about through the board. Let's go ahead and try a different divot. I'm not gonna save that brown dust. It's got moisture in it. And I'm just about through the board there. Let's go ahead and try another divot right there, right here. still smoking. I will save that dust because I think this dust is dry and we'll stick it back in that divot. All right, I did not mean to go that deep. So I will slant the spindle back this way so it doesn't pop out. Spindle tip looks good. I think we'll get our ember this time. Now, once again, the reason I'm on this corner of the table, sort of not in the best view for the camera, is because this is the lowest corner of the table and it helps me get up over the top of this long hand drill. A normal ember usually takes 60 floats and up to seven passes down the, down the spindle. Let's see if that'll work this time. It took one extra pass down the spindle, but we got ignition. And like I say, it's just a matter of drilling down past the wet material back into the dry part of the fireboard.
get behind the camera this time so we can get a good shot. Hi, right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. I had a really smart teacher in seventh grade for history, Mr. Leahy. He told us if we ever caught him spelling a word wrong on the chalkboard, that he'd give us 10 cents. I made 10 cents that year, but that was smart. He kept us paying attention to every word that he wrote and that he said. He also told us if we would memorize the preamble to the Constitution and be able to recite it back to him in 15 seconds or less, he'd give us a quarter. So. Here it is, 49 years later, and I can still do it. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Pretty smart teacher.